Hey everyone, Alec from Entopology. Today I have a fun workflow that my colleague Blake Johnson and the customer success team put together. And this is a great workflow because we're taking some data from a CFD import and we're using this to drive some fins and not just make them, you know, conformal to a wall or parallel to a wall, but what we're going to do is we're going to use this import to optimize the flow and really make it as least intrusive as possible to the flow while guiding the liquid or coolant, whatever we have going on in this, you know, pseudo uh, CFD import uh, to move it in the direction we want. And it's pretty nice because we use some vector math, we use some ramps to vary thickness, and it's, uh, it's a nice little workflow. So this is uh, one, you know, the CFD import, and, you know, we're using a velocity point map to do this. You'll notice this is still a beta feature. And this is where we define the direction of fluid flow. And some parts that I've imported ahead of time is I have a really large fin here. Um, you'll see this fin. And what we need to do is we need to shrink this down significantly so it's scaled right how we want it for this design. And then I'm also taking the fin's point, this little blue point right there, and I'm going to use that as my start of all my planes, right, Where, how I want to orient these, and I'm going to want this later. So you'll see, you know, I have some of the bounding boxes from the centroid and the X. I'll have the bounding box from the centroid and the Y. And then finally, I will have the min point from the Z. And that's how I'm snagging that point and really making this a reusable workflow for, for other types of imports. All right, so let's uh, get back to looking at some of this results. And We'll zoom right in here, and you'll notice I, I started out pretty far away. Something I can use, a nice hotkey feature, um, and I also recommend you check out my colleague Yuki's new video that's out with, you know, quick shortcuts and hotkeys in NTOP that are useful. But I can just hit the Z, uh, as in Z, on the keyboard, and that will zoom me into just the right area I want to see. So that's a nice feature to have. And you'll notice on the right we have temperature. We also have velocity, so this is what we're going to be using for today in this little HUD or the heads-up display. And finally, let's uh, let's take a look at what we're doing. So we're using a pretty pretty nice filter here, uh, mesh by flood fill, and all this is doing is it's taking all those points in space where I would have um, multiple points, right? And I'm saying, hey, where I have where I have these velocities coming in these points in this specific plane. We want to grab those, and we want to use those to define where our fins are going to be, which are going to be at these locations here. Now, you're, you're more than welcome to deep dive here and, and see what I'm doing, right? So we have a cylinder. We're doing some meshing, and this is nice, but we want to try to keep this simple for today. And this is going to, one, keep uh, our perspective kind of, you know, anyone can get a lot out of watching this video, but two, um, I want to focus the most towards the end here where we're, we're taking the fins and we're doing the orientation. So what you'll see is that we have a point map, and this is a little overwhelming just looking at this image, but what's most important is that to get uh, my orientations right, you'll see we have a Z, right, and then we have X, which is this direction coming towards me, and then Y. And I, I don't want any of the Y or X directions um, to alter, right? But I want to take the Z and I want to make that zero. So I have zero millimeters per second in here, and that's giving me that nice point in space where I can get my field from point map data. And then we're doing some interpolation. You'll notice this is on natural. Um, this is just kind of filling in some of those points that are areas I might need. And then finally, I'm able to start orienting these. So let's see what this looks like, right? We're We've evaluated the field at each of these points, and we're now getting these nice fin geometries put in space, and they orient with the flow. And something that's pretty cool here is the cross product math that's going on, or, or how we're doing the, the vector math in the background. And I have some notes in this file, so if you're looking at it later, you can start looking at uh, the details. But what we're really doing is we're taking the cross product of the vector, and that's going to help us orient, you know, from one single plane, this one blue plane here. And you'll notice this guy is pointed up. And we're defining not just a one single destination plane, but we're actually 
defining 36 points. So we're actually putting in um, a, a multiple destinations for this to get moved to, and that's what's making my my fins at each of these locations. So as soon as I highlight this, you'll see a overwhelming amount of planes here. Um, but all we need is this normal, and this is what's giving us the locations of the fins. And of course, you could put another list in here. It doesn't have to be this many, but uh, for today, I think it's going to look pretty nice. And then the using you know the direction of fluid flow, um, we've made these really unobtrusive and just guiding the flow as minimal as we need to. So we don't have a crazy pressure drop. We're not trying to do anything, you know, uh, remake the wheel here. It's it's very basic. Um, and if you've you've ever watched me do a demo with a customer, this is something I bring up frequently is we're trying to visualize, you know, how does a ramp work? And ramps can be a little complicated if you're looking at them, right? You know, you always have a uh, something that you're inputting and then you're almost kind of making a lookup table to, to manipulate the data. Maybe that's a geometry or a distance. But something that's nice about this file is right now, these are extremely thin plates, right? And what we want to do is, is we want to take these bodies and we want to add a simple thickness to them. So when we do that, right, we get these little pieces of, uh, of fins. They always remind me of chiclets or pieces of gum. Um, so we get these, and we can assign any any thickness we want, and it will be uniform. And right now, these are conformal to the flow. So this is pretty nice. But what you also see here on the left is this ramp feature. And with the ramp, I'm actually able to drag and drop my ramp into here and what I want to do is I want to take this axis and we'll make them blue just so you can see them easily in the screen. I want to take this axis and I want to say hey as I get further away from the axis let's thicken these fins and when I'm closer let's keep them you know, a much thinner value. So what that allows me to do is again with this simple drag and drop method of NTOP I can take my axis, I can take that now I have a reference value and then I can take him and just drag him right into this thickness, and then boom, I have this nice fins that are, one, thicker on the outside where I want them, and thinner on the inside, and it's all done off of this nice blue reference axis. And for me, that's really nice to, to show to someone just getting into the software because they can visualize the ramp, and also this is a fun application. It's pretty cool to see what we can do with a nice import like this and how we can start making NTOP do some of the hard work for us, especially for CFD. Um, if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. You can reach me on my email, alecgay at entopology.com, or just shoot me a message on LinkedIn. I'd love to talk to you about your applications, or maybe you have another idea of where we can apply this. And then I want to give a final special thanks to Blake for letting me show this off today. I think this is a fun workflow, and I hope you guys got a lot out of it. All right, don't forget to check out our other NTOP lives, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.